Hi guys! Today ang sasagutan natin is yung problem 12.11 from the Basic Principles and Calculations in Chemical Engineering 7th Edition by David Himmelblue and James Riggs. Well, basically itong problem natin ngayon is still a part of our uh, Chemical Engineering Calculations video series, no? But right now, we will be doing material balance with recycle. So, this is the first video that we prepared. Uh, having a recycle in our material balance problem. Okay, so simulan na natin i-analyze yung problem natin. No? To save energy, stock gas from a furnace is used to dry rice. The flow sheet and known data are shown in figure P12.11. So ito yung ating diagram no? and the given informations. What is the amount of recycled gas in pounds mole? per 100 pounds of P if the concentration of water in the gas stream entering the dryer is 5.20%. Okay, so ito yung ating feed which is rice feed uh, but it has 25% water. no? So, idadry natin itong ating rice feed until we have only 5% water sa ating rice. Okay? And in order to do that, gumamit tayo ng stock gas, okay, in order to save energy. And part of the stock gas after the dryer is again recycled and mixed with stock gas, okay? So, our requirement is to determine the amount of the recycled gas, which is this, okay, in pound mole per 100 pound of P, okay? If the concentration of water in the gas stream in the dryer is 5.2%. So, ang required natin is R, which is in pound mole, over our P, which is 100 pound. Okay, so yan ang kailangan nating i-determine dito sa ating problem. So, based sa ating question na makikita na kagad natin that this should be our basis. Because it's already a given information na dahil ang hinahanap naman natin is yung pound mole of our recycle over the 100 pounds of our P. So, kung gagawin nating basis itong 100 pound ng ating P, automatic kung ano mang value ang makukuha natin ng R will be our answer for this question. ba? So, we will write here our P is equal to 100 pounds. Okay? So, yan ang ating given information. And another given for us is the gas stream entering the dryer is 5.20%. So, Ito yung gas stream na pumapasok sa dryer, no? Kung saan nagmix na yung stock gas and our recycle R. And as per our information here, ang ating gas stream na pumapasok sa dryer is having 5.2% water. Okay, so we need to take note yung mga units na ginagamit natin, no? Dito pa lang sa ating requirement, makikita na ninyo, yung ating numerator, which is yung amount ng recycle R, is expressed in pound mole. While yung ating denominator is expressed in pounds. So, therefore, meron tayong iba't ibang value dito. No? Kailangan maging aware tayo doon. Meron tayo naka-pound mole at meron din tayo naka-pound. So, kailangan, pag gumawa tayo ng equation, when we are working with our equation, it should be having the same units, no? Okay, so moving on, our basis is, as discussed before, 100 pounds of P. Well, first thing that I will do is to conduct an overall material balance. Okay, so base sa ating given dito, meron tayong dalawang stream na pumapasok sa ating system at meron din tayong dalawang stream na lumalabas. So, our overall material balance will be our stock gas S plus our rice feed F 
will be equal to our wet gas, which is coming out, W, plus our rice feed, which is P. Okay? So, ito ang ating overall material balance. And at this point, ang known value lang natin is itong P, which is 100 pounds. So, we'll have here S plus F is equal to W plus 100. So, as you can see from here, no, pag ginamit natin itong overall material balance natin, since our P is in pounds, so... All of these values here should be in pounds, no? So, hindi dahil dapat makumpuse dyan dahil naka-pound mole yung ating numerator dito. So, we will be encountering this later on. Okay, so the next thing that I will do is to conduct a gas balance, okay? Because it will be easier for me dahil wala tayong gas dito sa ating ilalim, no? Our gas is only involving stock gas and our wet gas. Okay, so I will do a gas balance. No? So let's say I will have here gas balance. Okay, so in here, para mapadali tayo, let us convert this into a mole fraction. No? So we'll have here 0 0.0473 H2O. And then we have 0 0.9527 gas. Okay, so yan ang ating uh, fraction dito sa ating stock gas. While in here, we have 0 0.75 of our rice. And we have 0 0.25 of water. Okay, so... The same way, gagawin natin yan dito sa ating P. We have 0 0.95 of rice. And we have 0 0.05 water. And in here, given din sa ating wet gas, no, we have 0 0.0931 H2O. And we have 0 0.9069 gas. Okay, so we have to take note of these values that we have right here. So, ituloy natin yung ating gas balance, no? So, yung gas natin, we have here 0 0.9527 of S, 0 0.9527 of our S will be equal to this stream W which is going out, which is 0 0.9069 uh, of our wet gas. So, this will be 0 0.9069 of RW. Okay, so I will put this as equation number 1. Now, we have the relationship between S and W. No? And now, let me do another component balance and what I can see uh, which is easy here is to have a rice balance. No? Kasi ang meron lang tayong rice is itong nasa ilalim, no? Yung pat ng ating uh, material feed na rice going in and out ng ating dryer. So, I will have rice balance. Okay, so what we're doing here is a drying process, no? So, basically, ang nawawala lang is yung amount ng water but the amount of rice will remain the same. So, we'll have here ang ating rice sa ating feed F is 75% rice. So, we have 0 0.75 of our F is equal to uh, rice is 0 0.95 of our P, which is 0 0.95 of our P. But our P is a known value. No? So, we have here 0 0.75 times F is equal to 0 0.95 and what's our P? 100 pounds. So, basically, ang makukuha natin dito is expressed in pounds. no? So, our F is equal to 0 0.95 times 100 over 0 0.75. Therefore, our F is equal to 
126.67 pounds. Okay, so may value na tayo ng F. But still, we don't have value of our S and W, no? So, let us substitute that here. We have S plus F, which is 126.67 is equal to W plus 100. Okay? Now, if we have a look in our value right here, no? Itong ating ginawang balance for gas. As you can see, ang ating percent here is expressed in pound mole. Unlike dito sa ilalim, it is expressed in pounds. Diba? So, when we do our overall material balance, we have to take note kung isa substitute natin to. Then, we have to work on the same uh, units in order to have a correct answer. No? Okay, but we have a problem right here. Because... Kung gagamitin natin siya dito sa ating over or material balance, which is expressed in pounds, okay, it's either we have to change our uh, given values here from pounds to pound mole or change our S and W from pound mole to pounds. Now, the problem is we do not know itong molecular weight ng ating uh, gas, you know, ang ating stock gas. We don't know the molecular weight in order to change it from pound mole to pounds. So, in order to do that, dapat yung component balance natin is yung alam natin kung anong klaseng material and we know the molecular weight. In that case, the only way to do that is to use water, no, instead of gas. So, instead of doing this gas balance, what we're going to do is to conduct a water balance. So, I will do water balance here. So, first, ang gagawin natin is to check how much water is going in from our stock gas. So, we have here 0 0.0473 of water in our stock gas. So, we have first 0 0.0473 of our S. And this is in pound mole. Okay? And another stream going in is our rice feed, no? And here we have 25% water. So, we have plus 0 0.25 of our F. Okay? Uh, but this is in pounds. So, we have to change this into pound mole, no? So, in order to do that, then we have to uh, multiply it with its uh, molecular weight. No? So, we will have here uh, 1 pound mole of water over the molecular weight of water which is 18.02 pounds. Okay, so that will be the stream coming in. No? Naka pound mole na yan. And then, we have to look on the stream's going out. First stream going out is itong ating uh, wet gas which is having 0 0.0931 ng ating uh, wet gas. No? So, we have here 0 0.0931 times W. And this is already in pound mole. So, another stream coming out is itong ating P where you have uh, 0 0.05 ng water. So, we have 0 0.05 of our P, which is, uh, we already know the value, no? but I'll write here P. And then, we'll divide this to the molecular weight of water, which is 18.02 pounds per 1 pound mole. Okay, so we have two equations now. Since alam natin yung value ng ating F, and yung value ng ating P, we can use that here now. So, we have 0 0.0473 times S plus 0 0.25 times our F, which is 126.67.
Okay, divided by 18.02 is equal to 0 0.0931 of W plus 0 point, uh, 0 0.05 of our P, which is 100, divided by 18.02. Okay? Okay, so working on this, we will have 0 0.0473 times S plus 0.25 times 126.67 divided by 18.02, we'll have 1.757. This is equal to 0 0.093W plus 0 0.05 times 100 divided by 18.02 will have 0 0.277. Okay. Okay, so now we have another equation here uh, showing us the relationship between S and W. So simplifying this further, we have 0 0.0473S okay, plus 1.48 is equal to 0 0.093 W. And let me use this as equation number 2. Now, going back to our equation number 1, right here, I could isolate W so that I could express this as a function of S. Okay, so let's say from equation 1, I will have here W is equal to 0 0.9527s over 0 0.9069. So therefore, our W is equal to 1.05s. Okay, so that's our W. Now, I will use this to equation number 2 right here. I will substitute the value of W from here to equation number 2. Okay, so I will do that. I will have 0 0.0473s plus 1.48 is equal to 0 0.093 times W and W is equal to 1.05s. Okay, so now I could work this equation out and solve for s. I will have here 0 0.0473s plus 1.48 is equal to 0 0.093 times 1.05 is equal to 0 0.0976 okay, of s. So working for s, I will have 0 0.0976 minus 0 0.0473, which is equal to 0 0.05s, okay? So, I will have 1.48 is equal to 0 0.05s. So, therefore, our s is equal to 1.48 divided by 0 0.05, which is equal to 29.6. Pound mole. Okay? And using this value, we could calculate W from this equation right here. So our W is equal to 1.05 of S. 1.05 times 29.6. So our W is equal to 31.08. Pound mole. Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, we would like to ask for your support by subscribing sa ating YouTube channel. Please click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ipopost namin. Okay, so now we have the value of S, W, F, and our P, no? So, as you can see, our S is 29.6 pound mole. So, I will write it here. S is equal to 29 point six pound mole and then our w 
is equal to 31.08 pound mole. Okay, so now we need to get the value of our recycle, no? So let us perform a balance from this point right here, okay? So we're going to do that. We have our dryer. And then we have a stream going from our recycle. We have a stream going from our stop gas. And we have this stream going to our dryer. Now, kung naalala ninyo yung lecture natin about the analysis of split points, from here we have a split point, no? Kung saan, after the drying, uh, our material has been separated or distributed into two parts. Now, what we learned from the analysis of split point is that kung ano yung percentage ng ating material dito sa ating wet gas, gayon din ang concentration dito sa ating recycle. And also, with this stream, they will all have the same percentage of our components. Therefore, we will have here in our R the same as in our W. So, we have here 0 0.0931 of water and 0 0.9069 of gas. And, alam natin itong ating sa stock gas, we have 0 0.0475 of water and then we have 0 0.9527 of gas. And then we are told that itong stream na pumapasok sa dryer is having 5.2% of water. No? Yan ang sinasabi dito. So, I will have here 0 0.0.052 0 of water. So, that means I have 0 0.948 of gas. Okay? And let me name this stream as stream F1. Okay? So that kapag gumawa tayo ng material balance, uh, alam natin kung ano yung pinag-uusapan nating streams. Okay, so we know the value of our S which is equal to 29.6 pound mole. But we don't know the value of R and our F1. Now, I will do a material balance in our mixing point right here. No? So, I will have material balance at mixing point. Okay, from there, what is coming in is S and R. And what is coming out is our F1. We know the value of S. So, we have 29.6 plus R is equal to F1. Okay, so meron na tayong ganyang equation. This is our equation number 3. Now, I will do another gas balance dito sa ating mixing point. No? So, I will have gas balance at mixing point. So, from our S, I have 0 0.9527. So, 0 0.9527 of our S which is 29.6 plus from our R, I will have 0 0.9069 of our R is equal to 0 0.948 of our F1. So, I could simplify this further. Working on this, I will have 28.2 plus 0 0.9069R is equal to 0 0.948F1. Okay? Now, I have this equation number 3. I will substitute that. Here, yung value ng F1, which is 29.6 plus R, I will substitute that right here. So, I will have 28.2 plus 
plus 0 0.9069 times R is equal to 0 0.948 times F1 which is 29.6 plus R. Okay, so we have distributive property here. I will have 28.2 plus 0 0.9069. R is equal to 0.948 times 29.6 is equal to 28.06 plus 0.948 of our R. Okay, so simplify natin to, no? On our left side, I will have 28.2 minus 28.06. I have 0 0.14 and on the right side the power equation I have 0 0.948 minus 0 0.9069 which is equal to 0 0.0411 of our R. Therefore our R is equal to 0 0.14 over 0 0.0411. So our R is equal to 3.406 and our unit will be pound mole. So, ang required natin to just to be refresh is how much R in pound mole per our P which is 100 pounds. So, dahil basis natin is 100 pound, therefore, our answer here is already this but our answer will be 3.406 pound mole of recycle R over 100 pounds of our P. So this is our final answer for this question. No? Well, that's it for now, guys, and thank you for watching. We are inviting you to register sa www.engineers.org. It is a community of Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much, and have a nice day!